Hello Aquarius, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of August 21st through the 28th, 2017. The cards I am using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, so whatever this is, may, it may have not happened yet, and it might happen, like, real quick if, if it did. But it's something that you've been doing for a long time, mm, and you're not realizing. So maybe something somebody was doing to you or something you was doing so, to somebody for a long time is about to either come out or something is about to be revealed about something that you've been doing or somebody has been doing to you. But make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. And I don't remember what I said already, so let's get this show on the road. All right, what's going on? Ooh, Aquarius. So basically, whatever's going on, you found what you're looking for. All right, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius love reading? August 18th. Oh, wow. August, August, August 21st. So whatever this is. So maybe it's something going on with a parent of your child or maybe somebody is going to come out and tell you that they really care about you. I mean, that's the only two things I'm seeing with these two cards. But, all right. Aquarius, love reading. 821 through 28, 2017. 821 through 28, 2017. All right, so somebody feels like you are emotionally draining or you might feel this from somebody else. Okay, so somebody probably feel like their work is mo emotionally draining or just somebody that they're dealing with with a power struggle. I feel like some kind of power struggle is going on here. All right, Aquarius. Oh, okay. So you are having a power struggle with somebody and they're trying to get you to sacrifice something. What is this sacrifice about for the Aquarius? Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know why. I just felt like it might have been some kind of work affair going on. And I feel like somebody is trying to get them to sacrifice either a relationship with their ex or their relationship at home. Mm. All right, what is unseen for the Aquarius? All right, so this might have not happened yet. So maybe somebody you work with or somebody is going to Try to get you to sacrifice your home for them, okay? I had to pull one more card. Wow. Okay, so this person really isn't that attracted to you. So this could be uh, just a straight-up work situation, but it could be like somebody that don't really like you just trying to power, use their power to make you do stuff. But I feel like also... Um, for some of you, your job is affecting your relationship. And I feel like, may I keep hearing move. Maybe your job is trying to make you move, but you're going to have to leave everybody behind if you do this. And then I feel like it's like a few days where you got to go. Like, it's not, you don't have enough time to actually uh, get everybody ready. You know, it's just like a, either you coming or you're out. Okay. I don't know, this makes me feel like you are vulnerable to this person or this situation. I feel like you you need it. You need it or it's just something that you really care about. Uh, dang. Okay, so... I mean... I mean, this makes me feel like somebody just doing stuff like, I don't know, trying to make you feel like whatever you have isn't important. Like, it's it's not that important, you know, if it, if it's, if, if they love you, they'd be there when you get back or, 
you know, if they love you, they understand you leaving. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay, yeah. So this, in this case, I feel like it's about new beginnings. But it also could be like you just found out about a work baby, but somebody is trying to control you, making you leave your relationship for them. So it's two very distinct stories in here. But this can be a new baby, or it could be a new relationship, or it could be a new job. It's like either you're going to go with your job, or, or you're going to go with your family, or a partner, or whatever. So right now you're trying to act like it ain't happening, but there you gotta make a choice. Have to make a choice. Wow. Okay. So just seeing these two together, I feel like um, it might be traveling to see your ex or something, or maybe you're gonna travel, or turn down your ex, or turn down your relationship and go travel. All right, what's going on for the Aquarius? What's going on for the Aquarius? Eight. Okay, what's going on here? So somebody's stalking you, or you stalking somebody. Somebody is coming out of a state where they're having nightmares and um can't sleep and all that kind of stuff. And then now you're you're picking a battle that you're not ready to fight, or you're caught in the battle that you wasn't ready to fight. Mm. Yeah, so I do see some of you not going on this trip. Some of you trip or, or move or whatever it is. Mm. Alright, what's going on with the Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius love reading. 8, 21 through 28, 2017. What's going on? I don't know if I said this earlier, but my Cleo cards, I'll read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. All right. Wow. So you just not telling your partner about this. But I guess it might be because for some of you, you don't know yet. Okay. Oh. All right. Eight of Cups. All right, the Eight of Cups is reversed. It says, elaborate celebration, pro proclaimed happiness and gatherings. Uh, new possibilities can be very, can be created when you look at alternate directions. This, this starting to make me feel like that, you know, I mean, you care about the person at home, but you don't care about them that much. I mean, just that card. Okay. I feel like, I feel like it's like a straight line of what you care for most. It's like, I don't know, it's a toss-up. All right, we got the king of staffs. All right, the king of staffs says, a strong, honest person who isn't afraid to lead. The person can lead and advise wisely. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me read the other part of that. Did I read the right one? <laughs> All right. Dominant male, good heart, old-fashioned, often married, straightforward. Okay. So, yeah, this might be like a, a real relationship that you getting ready to walk away from. Let's read this Queen of Coins and see what's going on here. All right. This says... A time of economic balance and enjoyment of luxury and comfort. A bright economic outlook. So this makes me feel like you might leave your home to go with, on this business deal or, uh, or take this job that's far away. I don't know when I'm seeing this Knight of Cups is making me feel like come with me, you know, but if come with me when you can, you know, but right now I'm leaving. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups. And it says, 
a person with an offer or a proposal for a new venture possibly love it may be hard to say no to such an offer so that's basically like I said somebody about to come up and uh, ask you about this job and it's gonna be a straight line a toss-up between staying with your family and going to take this new job but that's all on you um, but that's all I have. Make sure to check your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. If you want a person to read, check in the description box below. Other than that, have a great week.